Xiaoping Wang is a senior lecturer in Chinese economics at the University of Manchester. The problem that the world is facing is very high inflation. So this is across the world in the UK and in, China, uh, in uh, America as well. But in China, we have this deflation. So on the positive side, we have the Chinese economy that is running very well, not being affected by inflation, etc., that many countries have suffered. But we do not want an economy that have too much deflation, because that means that the economy may not be growing. That means that people may not have enough confidence. So sometimes when you have too long uh, deflation for too long, then we need to take actions as well. So let's talk about that confidence, because there's been plenty of news out this week on moves to stabilize the markets in China, including the appointment of a new securities chief. So how is the mood amongst investors changing? The mood among investors has been low for a while, especially when we experience the lowest stock markets for a while. And this is partly due to some factors, temporary factors, for example, real estate bubbles. But we also have some uh, structural problems that China is facing, for example, population aging. But the government has been doing a lot trying to change this mood. And for example, the appointment of new security chief is one of this effort. But we need to do more in order to increase the confidence of the investors. I mean, not only government has to do more, but government should allow the market to do a little bit more. So basically, let market do its things. So when market operates, and it will sort out some stuff themselves. One thing, government has to be very effective and to be active in certain areas, but on some areas, government has to sort of recede a little bit to say, okay, can we allow markets to function? Yeah. Let's have a look and see where growth is going to come from, because um, there tends to be a flurry in economic activity at this time of year because of the spring festival, the travel and the celebrations around it. Does that skew your outlook and expectations for China's economic growth? Uh, yes, it will definitely screw the economic statistics a little bit due to this festival season, because normally factories will have a break of half a month. And not all the factories, but some factories will do. So in that case, it will shift the export, the export data and also the domestic growth data a little bit. Uh, this, is, uh, this has happened not only this year, but for many years as well. But we should also look at the fundamental structural problems China is facing, because sometimes short circle fluctuations matters, but sometimes the long run economic trend also matters. So we have to care about both, not being, not just say, oh, this is a short fluctuation. So we have to think about the long run fundamental problems. And yeah. only when we solve those fundamental problems, we can actually generate genuine, meaningful yeah. economic growth.